live. How you doing? Look at that, Dennis hey, Hoff. Hey, I love I love your set. I love your show. You, you know the bunnies watch your show. I love it. Love the idea that the bunnies are watching. Uh, Dennis, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. You know, today's my birthday, and I, I was going to spend a, a quiet day uh, doing some fun things, maybe maybe a little hip slips and fingertips <laughs> with Cressa Kisses, and, uh, and then Lamar Odom uh, had a problem at my place. Yeah, we heard about that. Um, what? How, how bad is the problem? I mean, he was taken to the hospital. That's pretty much all we know. Well, they, what happened is he, he on Sunday or Saturday he called looking for me, and the manager called me and I said, "Go pick him up if he wants to come out." And uh, and I put him in my VIP house attached to the Love Ranch Las Vegas, my brothel in the South. And uh, he got there and, and they told him on the phone, "No drugs, you can't do any drugs here, and, and you're going to be staying in Dennis's house, and uh, we'll spoil you, but you can't do any drugs." And he agreed to that. Uh, he got there, got a bottle of cognac, uh, which is still about a third of the bottle left that the police confiscated, and uh, started drinking, having fun. He was partying with a couple of girls, especially uh, mm. a girl named Ryder Cherry and another girl named Monica Monroe. Both of these girls, you can see pictures of Anthony on, on loveranch.net. We saw, I, I saw some happy. of the pictures of these girls, and they looked uh, quite, quite attractive, quite beautiful. Absolutely. And, and, you know, that he was just having fun. The only negative thing we saw while he was there is on Sunday evening, he got a call and he was a, a little bit, a little bit upset uh, because it was, it was something about the TV show, the, the Kardashian big ass clan and uh, showed something about him on the show. And I guess he wasn't overly happy with that. Oh, OK. And then now now uh, who finds him? Like, how, how did how did it uh, go down where they, they found him? Well, uh, Tuesday morning at six o'clock, the girls were with him. Uh, he, he went to sleep. They left to go do some errands, go to the gym and, and, and do all their things. And uh, about midday, one of my staff members goes in and um, and brings him some food. Uh, he was sound asleep. Everything was fine. And then at 3.15, the girls came back to, to, to wake him up, and, and then he was unconscious. Wow. Uh, laying on his right side. Uh, we, we, called, we called 911 immediately. 911 said, put him on his left side. And I don't know what the significance is, but put him on the, on the left side. And then he started throwing up foam and, and throw up. Mm. Uh, had a little bit of blood around his face and mouth. Uh, the ambulance people came and, and hauled him off to uh, Pahrump uh, Hospital. Wow. Now, now, obviously, we know uh, through his past that he has had issues with drugs and just telling somebody, hey, no drugs. Ah, sometimes they don't adhere to a, a lot of the rules that are that are put in place. Do you no, seeing this kind of uh, reaction, him foaming and coming up, it kind of looks like maybe there was some type of drug use there, huh? There very well could have been. You know, Heidi Fleiss uh, to, this morning called me and said, Dennis, you know drug addicts can hide their drugs. I'm a perfect example of it. Don't defend him until the toxicology report comes out. And the only thing I can go on is that, that he was sleeping every night. Typically, cokeheads don't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he was eating cleaned out my my kitchen. They were cooking for him all the time. You try feeding a guy that's 6'10 and an athlete. Uh, so typically, people that are doing a lot of drugs aren't eating much. So those are the things that make me think that maybe he wasn't. Although the, he did tell the girls that he had done some cocaine uh, prior to coming out to the ranch. Mm. Now, I don't he was fishing to try to get them to find something for him. Uh, but, of course, they didn't. And uh, but he was taking these herbal supplements and lots of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Now that, that this is a uh, herbal type, sort of an herbal uh, Viagra type uh, thing. Herbal ED medicine. Uh, I tried one five years ago as a sample to see if we wanted to sell them, and I don't I don't know if it made me harder, but it darn sure it was like drinking three energy drinks at oh, one time. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, something also tells me you know you don't. You don't tell anyone that you had done some coke 
without then doing more coke. I mean, we we all know how coke works. <laughs> but you know, no. you know what, Anthony? That's exactly what Harvey Levin just said to me uh, 20 minutes ago. And uh, I said, you know, Harvey, the only thing that we can go on is that we didn't see it. Uh, the yeah, police, sure. The police went over all of his stuff when he got there. They went through his backpack. There wasn't any paraphernalia around. There wasn't any evidence of it. So where, where was it? Where, you know, we, right, we right. But you're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely correct. And, you know, you know the old attic, uh, you, you know, once, you, once you're doing it and you start again, you just go right back into it. Yeah. So uh, is, this, is this the first time something like this has happened uh, at your establishments? Well, first time, first time with a celebrity, uh, we've had four people uh, have heart attacks in the room with girls. In fact, one Jeez. of them two years ago with Cressa. But I can, can you look at her and see why a guy would have a heart attack? That could yeah. happen. Sure, sure. What uh, can I speak with her? What what happened in that instance? Uh, and it wasn't a full. He just started having chest pains. From there, um, we ended ended what we were doing and immediately took him. To the hospital. From there, um, they treated him. He came back, stayed the night. <laughs> oh, okay. So, on. so I guess he was okay. Isn't that funny that even if you think you're you're having a heart attack, it's like, yeah, I better finish though first. I better make yeah. sure I. Uh, it's un- probably unleash. something like if you you paid for a meal, you're going to go back and finish it, aren't you? <laughs> I, I guess so. Uh, how many people get this VIP treatment, like staying at the big house there and? Uh, you know, carte blanche uh, to, uh, for the fridge and everything. Well, you know, you, you, we have special quarters for for celebrities that don't want to be seen out in the public all the time uh, at, at the Bunny Ranch and and at the Love Ranch, Las Vegas. Uh, of course, if you ever came out, if you had a permission slip from your wife, uh, oh, no you, wife here, no wife there. I got no wife, no girlfriend. I am totally free and clear. All right, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you out there, but don't ask for the Lamar experience. Okay? No, no, I will not ask for the Lamar experience. Uh, I would like the private quarters and the two girls. That'd be kind of nice. Well, you know what? It, it's yours. You're a great guy, and and I love your show. And and you know we're all signed up on it. A lot of the girl, the Bunny Ranch girls are, and it's it's the best show going. I love it, Dennis. Thanks so much, and uh, you know uh, keep us keep us posted with what's going on out there. And we'll we'll make it out there uh, at some point. I'd love to uh, see you. The the nine one one calls are going to be released at, at four o'clock today. Hopefully, the toxicology report, and the, I I want to see you out there. And keep this in mind, Anthony. There's no business like hoe business. <laughs> no business like hoe business. Thank you very much, Dennis. We'll talk to you soon, man. Here goes uh, Dennis Hoff. No business like hoe business. There's no business like hoe business. That guy is the modern-day P.T. Barnum. <laughs>